For those of us that get to fly fish the Columbia River, we're very fortunate because regulations never close the river. That means we could fish it every month of the year. Well, Donna and I are fair weather fishermen. So today's show, we're gonna start fishing the Columbia in March, show you how to do that, and then go through the dry fly season in the summertime, which actually runs from April till October. Probably one of the best dry fly fishing rivers in the world. End up in October when we get back to doing some wet fishing. It's Seasons of the Columbia, and that's today, as we take you sport fishing on the fly. Oh, look at the size of this fish. Oh, oh, oh. Nice, healthy, big fish, and they get and they just use the current so well. Get some bigger than this, and they'll actually go right out in the main current. That's what you just you don't have a chance with them at all. But again, all I was doing in this little back eddy here is just casting straight out and allowing the line to, to swing down, and then just stripping it back in a fairly slow strip, and that seems to be when he picked it up. There we go. I'll fly out, and I got this net marked for. Oh man, this water is cold for 20 inch segments. And that guy is right at my 20, oh, he's about 21, 21 inches. There he is there. What a gorgeous fish. Now that's what you expect this time of year when you come to the Columbia River. We'll see if we can uh, revive him. He's probably gonna take a little reviving, which is really too bad because the water is really cold. Oh man, oh, that's it. Revival done. Well, today we're at our home waters, the Columbia River here in Trail British Columbia. Yeah. You know, we always talk about taking advantage of the situation presented. And the Columbia River, we've done shows here in the past and we've shown you how big the water is. You oh. know, running over 100,000 CFS. Well, right now it's down, it's springtime. It's running probably less than 30,000. 30, 30 yeah, yeah, somewhere around there. I mean, it reminds me of the Bow River right now. It's just on, unreal. A big bow. What we've got is a, a run here, which you don't get to fish all year, except for right now, because... Well, normally the water's way up there where <laughs> our trucks are. Yeah. So we've got this nice run, and it's bugger fishing today. Yeah, well, I get the special bugger that we use in the bow all the time. Okay. We've, you know, we've had some luck here early. It's April, like we said, April, mid, early April. I'm going to try some through there. You know, cast it all like you would a normal bugger. Swing it down across, see if we can pick something up. You know, we had the six weights before. Yeah. Couldn't hold on to those big fish, so we changed to the eights. Because they are some big fish in here. Well, yeah, typically when we've been fishing here in the Columbia River, it has been, like you say, five, six weight rods, a little longer rod for casting, because you got the big water. But yeah, we were eight weight rods today, because you got to plant them, and, and they're going to go on you, aren't they? Oh, they will. You bet. You got to slide down here a little more. There. Oh, that's a big one. Big bull. Oh, is he skying out there? This is a nice big rainbow. Right in that ripple. Oh, yeah. Well, he's not ready yet. Oh, yeah. Now that is a nice rainbow trout. Wow. Thing about the Columbia River is, well, usually when you catch a fish, it's big. Oh. Just when you think they're getting tired, no way. Not a chance, they just go again. So you're back. <laughs> Had to go check out the creek mouth. You saw all the excitement over here. Yeah. Look at this one. Look Sounds at the like size a nice of that fish. Toad. Looks like a nice fish. Oh <laughs> yeah. Right in that riffle. You know, I just cast it through. I wasn't having any luck in the normal spot. But this guy hit, he just stopped it, and then he started skying out in that water. <laughs> oh, nice fish. Look at that, eh? Beauty. Oh, oh I'll get beauty. this guy in. We'll show everybody. Look at the colors. Like, oh, look at the, look at the size. Fish. Like, that is a nice fish. That's, 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 that's what the Columbia's renowned for. That's <laughs> Columbia River size. Here, I'll let you hold the rod. Oh, yeah, you got it. And, of course, my dog has to come and have a look, oh, too. Oh, yeah. Lucy wants oh. to be part of the experience. What now, look at this. Fish. Now, that is a Columbia River size fish. Barbless hook, look at that fish. Is that nice? Awesome. That's hefty, look at how thick. That's a good five pound fish. Oh, easy, yeah. At least. Easy. Oh. Oh. Oh, look at that, no reviving. There he goes, look at him. Well, there's a the fly. Let's show everybody the fly here. Yeah. 
get a get good close the, up of the fly. All the gunk off it. Yeah. So that's, I mean, that there is probably is, right your favorite there. bugger that you like to use that you like to tie. My brother introduced me to this fly, like he does a lot of my flies, and I, I didn't modify it. I got it exactly the way he did with the change. the core, yeah, the corrugated body with the chenille, like it's a black and a green. Yeah. It's got the brown hackle. It's got the real nice tail on it. A great overall, overall uh, willy bugger. It works. Oh hell, well, I'm going back out <laughs> there. That was a code. That was a big fish. <laughs> Oh, there's another big guy. Oh, a last fish on, another big one. See, they're sitting right in this round <laughs> up, up higher, okay. Yeah, they're up, like they're up. Another fish. Oh, yeah. that's my second cast in that run. Yeah. And that's my Both second toad. Big fish. And right there, they're sitting yeah. in about four feet of water right now. Well, the, the bugs are starting to move. Mayflies are starting to move. There's a lot of midges coming out right oh. now, so the fish are just starting to move. Oh, there you go. Man, is he ever gone? Well, you know, this is so neat for the Columbia River because we, we're just so busy now. We get a chance to fish a lot of really great places. But we don't get a chance to fish our home waters up. No much. way, and they're toads in here. They're, they're so big, fish. yeah. Unreal. And, and then being able to fish early April here before the lakes have iced off and having a, a fishery like this. Is what just, a pleasure, yeah, a beautiful day is. like today. <laughs> Look at this Look fish. Look how fat that fish is. Now, is that a healthy fish? Oh. This fish, it's in April. That's yeah. a steelhead. Oh yeah. To me, that oh, yeah. is. I'll let you see the yeah, rod you, again. You I got the rod. Look at this fish. Oh <laughs> man! <laughs> Barbless hook just comes out. Look at that fish. Now Pretty you tell odd. me that Look isn't a steelhead. That is. That's a seven, eight pound oh, fish. Oh easy, like easy. That's the size of a salmon. Holy cow! Look, look at that. That is, is that? amazing. Look at look how fat it is. Look there he goes. goes. There he goes. Look at him go. There you go, Lucy. What a toad. Well, my dog's always in the way, but that's all right. Oh, right I on, I like though. to bring the dog fishing. Unbelievable. Can you believe it? This yeah, is I April. Can. This is the Columbia River. April 10th or 11th today? Yeah. April 11th today. Beautiful day. It's yep. probably going to get up to 15 degrees when we're catching five to eight <laughs> pound fish like that. Oh. Unreal. I hope they do this with the river every year. The last couple yeah. years, you know, they had the huge runoffs and the river's been running high, like we've shown you in the shows we've done in yeah. the past. And now it's we got the nice with 30,000 CFS. You got the great oh. bugger runs. And if they do this every year, people will come to fish this because when you're catching fish that size, that quality fishery, you can't beat it. Like it is the best <laughs> in the world, like right now. But you know what else is oh. neat right now? There's a lot of other stuff you can do around trail. Exactly. We should show everybody the types of things you can do. You can come and fish, and you yeah. can do all this other stuff too. Exactly. Yeah. This time of year, you can go up skiing in April, and you go golfing. Everything's open, and you can fish for a big fish like that. Yeah. Phenomenal. Well, we're going to come back in a minute. When we are, it's going to yeah. be a new day, and we're going to see if we can catch some more fish. I want to catch some of the normal size, the one to three, you know, yeah, the 16, 18 range. inches. Exactly. That are, that are usually a dime a dozen, but not today. Just the big guys are open. You don't want to catch any more of the big guys. I want to catch another big guy, too. <laughs> okay, well, we'll be back. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to the show. You know, we just came back from our little springtime segment. Hope everybody enjoyed it because uh, we got some pretty big fish in the springtime. So now we're out here and it's the middle segment of the show. We're out here in June. This is mid-June and we usually get the real good caddis hatches. We get good ant hatches. We get actually even black crickets on the water this time of year. And what I'm doing is, oh, that's a nice one. And I'm just fishing a little caddis. It's quite early right now. We've just got out here. It's about six o'clock at night. And the Columbia is notorious for the late night feed. Usually you don't get anything happening until dark and that's usually at this time of year, eight o'clock at night. So I just happened to tie into one early. And there's Granny. Get a shot of Granny here. Look, look at him. Here he is, the <laughs> ultimate fisherman. He's having his chicken, having his dinner. My I rod's... took one cast and I got the fish. My rod's almost ready to go. <laughs> and I see your rod just sitting there. <laughs> One cast through that run. I just came and turned on it. So on the caddis. On the caddis. Nice little, uh, nice little black caddis. About a size 16. And I'm gonna have to move to the back of the boat. Yeah, I think you're Ooh, probably no. right. <laughs> Alrighty. 
Yeah, you got your face all clean from dinner? <laughs> well, you know, we didn't expect it. I took the, the cast over in the seam, and this guy came up and popped it. Yeah. And well, it is early, so it could be good. Could, could be, be good, really right? good, Well, You got to get this guy. This guy's just a little guy for the Columbia. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa, oh, there he is. A little guy for the Columbia. Oh, look at the size of that. Well, here, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll hand you the rod, and I'll go down and release this guy. Yeah. All right. That'll be good. Okay. And there he is there. A nice little rainbow. It's not huge, but nice size. Well, you know, we always like to experiment too with the cat. It's Don, the ultimate experimenter and modifier, Mr. Modifier. So we're gonna have to see what he's done with this little caddis fly here now that I've got control of the rod. Right on. A little cold down there. Oh, that's cold water. It's a little uh, different. I was expecting to see a CDC one actually. No, you know where we got those from? Where's we that? got those from uh, Umqua. Umqua. I was wondering about that. Umqua sent us some flies. Actually, Wops us, Wops these flies with right. all the stuff, and yep. they sent us some Umqua flies that were tied for them. And that was a little jewel that I put on. And it's really neat. Store it's got store-bought fly. It's got a black black body yep. with a little real light white rib. You yep. can see that real almost yeah. gray rib. Yeah. And the black hackle with the nice brown. Yeah, it looks like nice the size caddis that hatch in here. They're about a 16. Yeah. And that matches it perfect. Yeah. Well, good choice. Not bad. Well, that's a good start, first cast. So I'm hoping to get some more. There you go. Do you finish dinner? Uh, well, dessert still. <laughs> Guess what? He's got a fish. That's unbelievable. <laughs> Granny and me, we're both taking a few casts. Guess what happens? He says, well, there's no fish coming up again. We wait five minutes. He goes for the grapes. I go for my rod. I got another fish. <laughs> so I'll move back here and uh, go and talk to him. The other thing was that fishing here is, is mending, line control. Can't yeah. talk enough about mending and mending to keep that fly dead drifting because they like it on the dead drift. Exactly. They don't yeah. like it moving at all. And that was what that guy was. I didn't even, I had a cast out and it's really riffly and I couldn't see my fly. <laughs> And I thought it was a natural floating down, and I saw a splash, and I said, is that mine? And it left my rod, <laughs> it was mine. So. It's shine. Yeah, you really have to be aware out here. And I got caught in the end. Well, I'm on the side of the road. I can go grab the, uh, the net for you. <laughs> Save some of those grains for me, too. <laughs> and that's not a big fish. No. And listen to him take a line, eh? <laughs> Unbelievable. So what have you got on there? You okay, got the I recommend nine... a setup. I got the, I got the nine foot, uh, six weight rod. Yep which is perfect for in here. Five and a six weight for these size fish is really ideal, but you gotta remember, heavy currents in here again. Really heavy currents, so you do need a little bit of a stiffer rod. We do have 5X tippets. We're keeping the tippets not real light, but the 5X is still pretty light. Yeah, it's getting down there. And we got the, I'm uh, matching it with a nice real, I've actually got the real uh, long cast line on. Right, that's what I got too, because Columbia River, you can see at the distances we have to cast. And you put a pretty long We're cast actually, in over there. This is a wind, wind cutter. You got this wind cutter, wind I've cutter, got the long, got the long cast. cast. Yeah. And I, I think they're pretty similar. They both yep. cast really nice. And these fish in here are freight trains. There are some of the best rainbows you're ever gonna catch. They're phenomenal fish. Look at that, and that fight from that big a fish. There, there it is, there. All right, I'll take them down here again. I'll sure. Hairy that again. On. Okay, barbel sucks again. That's all we use. And here he is here. Quite a nice, nice little rainbow. I don't want to lose our net. And that guy, he's not big, not big at all, but he fought fantastic. I mean, that size fish pulling that hard, it's like a freight train. Unbelievable. Oh, gee, he wants to go right away. There he goes. <laughs> okay, just a second here. <laughs> oh, he's coming right at me. Oh, oh no, no, where he goes? Oh, oh, we got oh, a good nice fish, fish here. <laughs> this is a hot fish. This is a good one, yeah. Oh, wow. Whoa, he's way oh, over here. Way over to my left here, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, there he goes. Ripping. <laughs> I had the good flow finally. Oh, oh, and he oh, got no. off. A little too tough. Wow, a little too tough on it. Should let him go, yeah. Oh. Oh no. Oh gee, I got a big guy and he me way into my back. Oh no. Oh, come on, back in the eddy. He's way oh no. Oh no. Oh no, look at him go way down there. 
You can see it's starting to get late. This is the best time for fishing in the summertime. Oh, no. He's, oh, look at him. He's way over there. Tail walking. <laughs> and see how he used my line? He went right. He took my line right down to the bottom. So it got in the water, and then he came right back up to the top again. Well, and you're going to wait. We're going to see this fish. And you think he's going to be huge. I mean, he's, he's a nice size, but... Uh, Nothing like some of the ones you get in. Oh, especially on a dry fly. Look at him, he's right down the bottom. Oh, when you get to see him too, that's the oh, best. I'm having trouble getting him up. He just does not want to come up. Oh, there he's slowly oh. coming. Oh, 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 there he is. Oh, wow. Big fish. Wow. There he is. Now that oh, is a, a nice big fish. fish. Look at how fat they are. Holy cow. You know, that's on a dry fly. Yep. That's on a small dry, and that's all the fish that are feeding up right now, all this size and bigger. Yeah, what There's a beautiful some huge fish. fish but oh. Let's get him back. And this is probably the average fish you're going to catch in here. That size right there is going to be your average. It is a world-class river that's relatively unknown. Oh, there he goes. He wants to go. <laughs> You're gonna like it. Right You're on. You're gonna like it. Good fish. Well, welcome to the to the fall segment of the show. And we're down here at one of our favorite spots on the Columbia. For the fall segment, we just want to show you the different methods you can use in the fall. Oh, and this guy had a few good hits on my, my big orange caddis earlier. I actually had an orange Miklux sedge on. Had to cast it out into the current. Had a few big splashy rises, but they wouldn't come back for it. So I decided to run the run my wet line through, sink tip with the bugger, and I got this little guy. That's just a little, actually, a little baby for in here. That's a tiny little fish. And I'll just let him go. But in the fall, you can expect a, a variety of fishing. What makes this time of year so special is you get the big October caddis coming off, and they're about a size four and six. They're real huge caddis flies real big and orange and these fish tend to key on them in October. We're here it's about October 21st. A little later on the water is quite low usually it's a little higher than this but you cast that October caddis in any of the runs and into the pockets and you just wait because they're explosive takes. But I've followed through with my bugger another great way to catch them if you don't have any luck with the dry going through to start. So I'll work that hole again and see if we can pull something else out. Well what I'm doing right now is I got my Sink tip line on, I've got my sparkle woolly bugger on, and all I'm doing is casting it kind of quarter downstream. So this is straight down, this would be half, maybe not quite a quarter downstream is what I'm casting. And I'm doing two things. One, first time through is I'm letting it swing right through, and then I'm stripping it back, quite fast, short, fast strips back. And once I get it in, then I'll take a step down, do that same quarter down cast, let it swing around and then strip it back. Another thing you can do is to strip it back in as it's swinging down, which is also very effective. Whoa, yeah. There you go, Columbia Acrobat Show. <laughs> and I was out standing about three and a half feet of water, just casting out, cording it out down and across. Coming at me here. I was actually stripping it on the way back in, and that's when this guy took it. Oh, look at that bald eagle right there. Oh, he right wants there, my that's... fish. He wants hey, you. that fish. <laughs> Look at the size of that bird. All right. Oh, the bald eagle went back to the tree. Holy cow. You see that guy? That's hilarious, isn't it? <laughs> he came right over us. He wants that fish. A ah, nice Columbia oh, River yeah. rainbow here. You know, there's been some dandies too. That's a, that's a beauty. And I lost a couple of pigs. There's some dandies going right now on the sparkle bugger. Look at how fat this guy is here. And there's more to go. Like this is in the fall. This is uh, late October. Oh, look at how healthy that is. That fish. There's the bugger going. Look at that. Look at how thick. <laughs> oh, isn't that a beauty? <laughs> how fat that is. Way oh, yeah. fatter than my arm is. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Yeah. Oh, he's ready to go here. Yeah. You can just take your time there, fella. And yeah, that eagle's going to come back and try to get him. <laughs> I can't believe how fat they are. Mind you, of course, they're getting ready for winter time, so they're yeah. bulking up right now. Well, they are. There he goes. Bonk into my feet. Oh, well, it's fun, but it just shows you. I mean, the whole show has been based on the seasons of the Columbia. Yeah. And you can catch big fish 
right from March, long. right through probably November. And if you wanted to, you could probably come out in the winter time and get some too. Yeah, that's for the That's hearts. for somebody else though. <laughs> it's an excellent river. You should try and come here sometime. I'm sure you'll have a lot of fun. When you do though, make sure you take care. And conserve the waters. Oh, it's just a phenomenal fishery here. Can't say anything more. It's our favorite. Yeah. See you next time. When we take you sport fishing on the fly. That was a nice Columbia fish. <laughs> <laughs> Produces.